Hey everyone, today I'm doing a review on the BenQ e-reading desk lamp, as seen here. Why would you care about a desk lamp? Well, lighting's pretty important when you're making stuff. At least I think so. So normally when I'm working at my desk, I've got these two giant lights, come on, plug in, lights beside me. And because they're so big, they create a really soft light and no hard shadows, so I can actually see what I'm doing really well. I know where our dining room table is in our kitchen. I hate working on any projects there in the night because all we have is one single bulb light fixture. And if I'm cutting something with my scissors, the shadow of the scissors goes over the line and I can't tell where I'm cutting or, yeah, it's just not fun at all. So that's where something like this might come in handy. It's not super heavy. You can take it around to different places um, and it'll illuminate your projects. Anyways, I gave this a bit of a run, used it for about a month and a half. I used it as my only light for a while while I was designing the proton wand thing for the Ghostbusters pack. Okay, so here's my thoughts, what I liked, what I didn't like, and then you can make your own choice on the BenQ e-reading desk lamp. As soon as I took it out of the package, I could tell this lamp was made from high quality materials. The base is nice and heavy and apparently shouldn't be dropped on your foot. The arm is made from metal and feels nice and sturdy, and it gets attached to the base with one hex bolt. The gray part on the top of the light is also metal, and then there's a plastic diffuser that goes over the LEDs. A ball and socket joint allows for pivoting of the light, and the arm allows for a wide variety of interesting light positions. The seven foot cord plugs into a DC adapter so you can plug it into the wall. The light turns on and off by touching the awkward silver ring, and you can use the knob to adjust the brightness. Press the knob in once, and now it magically adjusts the color temperature of the light. This light is by no means cheap, so I thought why not compare it to one that is? Because if the cheap one works just as good, then what are we even talking about? So here's the cheap lamp, and you can see how hard that shadow is, especially as I get closer to the table. And now for the BenQ lamp, and you'll notice the shadow is not near as pronounced. It's also a little bit brighter than the 8 watt LED I had in the other lamp. Since you'd probably buy a light for more than just looking at your hand's shadow, let's try it out in a real life situation. Like cutting out a lost wax logo from a piece of paper. Have a look at the shadow of the scissors and you can see there's definitely a difference. Here's a bit of footage I filmed for my Proton Pack project using the BenQ lamp as my light source. Just imagine that's your hand covered in wax and you'll have a great idea of what it's like to use the BenQ e-reading desk lamp while you're lathing a candle to make a knob for a Neutrona wand. All right, we're at the part where I say things I like and don't like about the lamp. So what I like is the construction. This is very solidly made, made out of metal. That is really great. Um, it's very adjustable. It holds its position really well. Whatever you want to do, it stays how it's supposed to be. I like that it's possible to change the brightness of the lamp. That's really handy, as well as the color temperature. Maybe not quite as handy for doing craft, but really handy when I'm filming videos and need to match the light that's around me. The base is really solid and heavy. This is not gonna fall over, but it's not so heavy that you can't move it around. The quality of light from this is really good. In fact, it's way better than I expected it was gonna be. It produces nice soft shadows, and that's because of this big, long light. So the light can go in from different directions and wrap around stuff. Things I don't like so much are this uh, turn on and off ring thing, because for one, it just makes you want to grab it. It's right there. It's a ring. Don't put a ring on if I can't grab it. And also I'm accidentally touching it when I go to turn this knob, all of a sudden I touch it and the light goes on or off. The knob is also a little bit annoying because it goes for an infinite amount of spinningness. So there's no way to actually set a predetermined brightness or color temperature setting, which isn't a huge deal if you're doing crafts, but it is for me when I'm filming because I need to keep consistency with the light. So what I would actually prefer is like a physical on off switch on the base and maybe two sliders, one for the color temperature and one for the brightness of the light. That way I can set them a certain place and they're always gonna be there and I know what they are. The cord is really cool and looks nice. The only thing is the power adapter at the end is looks kind of awkward with it. And if you have to plug it into extension cord, then you've got your extension cord and then the power adapter and then the cord and you have to do something with that. You gotta hide it somewhere. You don't have a nice streamlined cord, power cord system. So I think it would be cool also if you had the power adapter in the base so you could just plug a regular cord in and then you could plug a regular extension cord to that and it would look just a little bit neater. And of course, the last thing we've got to talk about is the price. Now, I could buy one of my big lights for less than the cost of this light. So I guess it comes down to just whether it's worth it for you or not. I don't know how much money you have and want to spend. If I had no lights, 
this wouldn't be the first thing I bought. I would buy one of my lights, but that's because I'm filming all the time and I need those lights. So just depends. This is super handy for being able to drag around the house anywhere you want, set it up really quick. Doesn't take up a lot of storage space. I know I for sure will get quite a bit of use out of this. It's a handy light for filming sometimes and just when I want to add a little bit more light on a project I'm doing or if I'm going somewhere else and doing something like working at my jewelry bench, super handy there. So definitely I'll get a lot of use out of it. I like the light. It just depends what you're doing and what how much space you have and how much money you have. And that's it for my review. I'll include links to this lamp as well as the one I use in the description. So if you're interested, you can check those out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.